Hey, I'm Jisoo, welcome back to Summon Sifu. For months ago, I made a video about combos and mechanics, which may help you in battle. But that was four months ago, and I think this video is long overdue, because ever since, we learned a lot, a whole lot. And today we're going to see like, just exactly how much you can do now with the game. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it. The first move we're going to learn today is the advanced sweeping mechanism and this is thanks to um game breaker god he is amazing and he f I, I believe he is the first one who came out with this trap and basically you by now i think you must be accustomed to using the sweep this is just the sweep but faster and just faster so more efficient at keeping people on the ground of course forward forward is how you would normally perform the sweep but in this case, right after you perform the sweep, your usual typical sweep, you want to input a dodge. But in this particular case, we're going to try to dodge up, which is going to make it, you know, that animation where he lifts his foot. That's exactly what you want, because then it feels, it acts like a reset, right? You're going to reset to a normal stance, allowing you to input another sweep and then another one. The idea is to keep chaining sweeps <laughs> as long as you can do that. It is not, it is kind of tricky. It will get, it will take some getting used to, but it is very efficient. Not, a, not as efficient as it used to be because there was a fix and now they, you may be able to input three or four if you're lucky before they get up. But there is a chance, a slight chance you might be able to chain three to four sweeps in a row and before they come back up. But also, even though even though they come back up, there is a chance that upcoming sweep might knock them down again. It is a very tricky move. It's definitely something you want to master if you want to capitalize on enemies fully on the ground without having you to mink mink them. But that got me thinking about all those other moves we can chain or spam <laughs> by resetting every time we are done performing the move. So yeah you can pretty much use every single move in the game and then right after you perform the move you reset yourself by dodging and then you perform the move again palm strike for example is it, it is amazing if you can do that with palm strike because the moment you find they found themselves against the wall you can just pump that and this is big big structure damage and nine times out of ten it might end up in you breaking the guard really fast it works with crotch punch, snap kick, every single move can be cancelled and you can reset, spam it again, you can mix things up, it's up to you to get creative or again, Sifu is not limiting you in any kind of ways, it's up to you and it works just fine. Next up, we have to thank Liquid Drone for this trap. If you don't know, Liquid Drone is um, a Sifu player and everything he does involves using Flying Claw. He walks while Flying Claw, he watches TV while Flying Claw, whatever he does, it involves Flying Claw. So, normally you won't, you only be able to use Flying Claw, I'll say, one, once in every two seconds because, well, there is a delay. But by holding the block button and spamming, you know, the Flying Claw input, which is square and heavy, right? Like light and heavy. and a little advice when it comes to using Flowing Claw because I know some people have been struggling. You want to kind of have that kind of sliding motion. Like you go from square to triangle. Don't try to press the buttons one after the other. Try to slide from square to triangle. It works better. And if you want to use this strat, which is basically spamming Flowing Claw, you just have to hold, just hold the block button and keep performing Flowing Claw. It gives you. It is. It is an evasive move, and that way you can get some distance. It, it, it serves no purpose other than flexing. So it, be, because you don't actually do anything else, or we're going to call it the, the, the flowing flex, right? It's just flowing, but just to flex. <laughs> now, flowing claw by itself is already an amazing move. It is evasive, it gives you some distance, it gets you away from sometimes the enemy, allowing you to ready an attack, and my favorite Users that I get out of Flowing Claw is Flowing Claw into Backfist. But 
two other very good users is using Floating Claw with Crutch Punch or using Floating Claw with Bomb Strike. Those are really good and they will help you almost all the time, especially against bosses. So while you are in the stance, the Floating Claw stance, you want to impulse Bomb Strike. He's going to or she is going to use Bomb Strike but with her foot. And it has more range than the typical bomb strike you use with your well your thumb. And you most of the time it catches enemies off guard, especially the little ones, the thugs, and the elites. The elites they just they just fall for that every single time. The second move you can use with it is crutch punch, and whenever crutch punch is really good to interrupt enemies whatever they're doing they're going to get interrupted unless maybe we're talking about some unbrokeables or you know things like that but most of the time you're going to interrupt them and I, I think i feel like the best the best way to show you just how powerful this is is to show you how effective it is against Kuroki. A second phase on Master Difficulty, you don't want to get involved with her, you know, close to, you know, she, she, she can destroy you with her mix-up. So what you can do is just flowing her, wait for her to come near you and then crouch bumps. It's, she's going, you're going to transition into that animation where you automatically can grab her using the directional throw and then chain tracing trip kick and she's on the ground. And that way you don't have to deal with her mixer because again it can interrupt whatever they are about to do. And then you can throw her or them and it's up to you to decide what you want to do next. Crutch Punch by itself is already really 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 good but using that with Flame Claw is going to guarantee almost all the time that we are going to be able to throw them. They cannot recover from that, not fast enough, as opposed to using the regular crutch punch. So definitely get the hang of this one, you're going to need it, and trust me, it's going to come in handy all the time. Lastly, this is my favorite trick, because it also involves my favorite skill in the game, which is the directional throw. And it is somewhere halfway between dancing and doing kung fu. So this is why we call it the dance food and it, ha it serves no purpose other than being fancy. Actually no, it, it does has a it does has a pur I mean wait, it does have a purpose. To be able to master the dance food, you're going to need two skills, directional throw and chasing strikes. And you want to be able to use those things efficiently. Like you you need to know how they work. The, the delay got a little bit twisted after the, the latest update so sometimes your chasing strikes or chasing trip kick may not come out as often as it used to but it's just something you have to be get again to just get accustomed to the dance fool can be performed anytime an enemy is in a throwable state but to maximize the damage and the flex you want to wait for the enemy to be in that stern state right when you would normally perform a takedown on them but this time we won't perform a takedown we will start throwing the first push the starter push can be performed by either using palm strike or using the directional throw and right after you perform that push you want to input chasing strikes however you don't want the animation for the chasing strikes to end before you input another throw and right after performing that throw, you perform another chasing strikes. The idea is to go from chasing strikes to throwing. So it's chasing, throwing, chasing, throwing, chasing, throwing as long as you can. The good thing is, while you are performing all those chasing strikes, the enemies are taking damage. So let's say you are in the situation where you want to get rid of those thugs, or you don't want to perform a takedown because you know they're going to go super science and you are afraid of super science. So you can do that. You can keep chaining those well you can perform the dance who until they die saving you the trouble of performing a takedown and risking them turning so it is it does actually has a purpose it's not just flashy and i use this all the time sometimes even in boss fights yes they're not as you know long because the bosses recover quite fast but i have the time to input to make quite some damage before they recover so that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching and I hope that was 
Well, that was useful, and I hope you go out there and you slay. You slay, just beat some ass. Bye-bye.